Oh, the letter rain is falling, falling from the sky. The letter rain is falling, falling from on high. Don't put up your umbrella, let it soak right through. Letter rain is falling, let it fall on you. Well, you read it in your Bible in Joel chapter 2. Spirit of the Lord can fall on folk like me and you. Well, your sons and daughters will prophesy. Old men will have dreams. Young men will have visions. And this is what it means. Well, the letter rain is falling, falling from the sky. The letter rain is falling, falling from on high. Don't put up your umbrella, let it soak right through. Let it rain is falling, let it fall on you. Well, the disciples, they were praying up in the upper room, waiting for the Holy Ghost, for he was coming soon. They heard the sound of a rushing wind, they saw the tongues of flame, started praising Jesus and preaching in his name. Oh, the latter rain is falling, falling from the sky. The latter rain is falling, falling from on high. Don't put up your umbrella, let it soak right through. The latter rain is falling, let it fall on you. The latter rain is falling, let it fall on you. Quite a while ago in America, there was a movement called the Latter Day Movement. Latter Rain, sorry, the Latter Rain Movement. And it said that God sends the spring rains, God sends the latter rains. And they believed that God was sending the later rains when he poured out his spirit in a new way upon the church. And people were dancing around, swinging from the chandeliers, you name it. But I tell you, there's uh, a lot more to the Holy Spirit than just a big show. It's Pentecost Sunday today, or which Sunday as we used to say, and it's the day we remember that God sent his Holy Spirit on the church. Joel prophesied it in the Old Testament, then it came to pass in Acts chapter 2, when the disciples were filled with God's power and began to change the world for God. I want to speak to any Christians out there who don't feel that power, because the wonderful thing about being a Christian is that you just don't join a club or an organisation. You become a child of God. And what's more, you become a temple to be filled with the Holy Spirit of God. Your body is a temple filled with the Holy Spirit. I remember as a young boy struggling with my faith, trying to be good and failing miserably. And then at the age of 20, God filled me with his Holy Spirit and my life took on a different meaning. I wasn't perfect, but I found I had the power to sustain the Christian life. I had the power to do God's work without fainting. And I just wanna to say to you today on this Whit Sunday, that if you require that power, God can give it to you. I remember my old motorbike running out of petrol, I had to push it miles. What a wonderful joy it was to fill it up and just let the clutch out and cruise along effortlessly. Well, I want to tell you, God wants to fill you up today. He doesn't want you running on dry. He wants you watered. He wants the latter rain to fall on you. And he wants you to bear fruit. Just ask the Lord to fill you with his Holy Spirit. If you are his child, he will give good gifts to his children. God bless you all. Amen.